Hello, welcome back to this new edition of Halftime. I'm your host, Brady Weaver. Today on the show, we have Daquan Perry and Jared Lowe. They're trying to teach me how to play some rugby. Let's see how that goes. All right, so first off, Daquan is gonna teach me how to do some passing drills. How are you trying to teach me today? Uh, first, I'm gonna teach you the basic fundamentals of passing, because as you know, in rugby, we pass the ball backwards, unlike football, where they pass it forward. So, at first, I'm gonna teach you, uh, your hand's gonna go on the back end of the ball, and your other hand is basically like a guide hand, like in basketball, if you're shooting a jumper, it's just here for guidance, and you're back onto the back of the ball, and then you pull it back, like you're putting in a hole for your edge of guide hand, and then when you throw, you release. And this hand is your power, this hand is strictly for guidance, to get it where you want it to go. All right, that's a lot of information, let's see if it works. Here we go. see I'm already turning into a beast of a rugby player and man it's only my first time ever doing it but sadly there's more to the rugby than just passing isn't that right that's right so passing is one dimension of the game but I'm gonna teach you how to score some points all right so what we'll be doing today is the equivalent of a field goal in football mm -hmm. we just call it a drop goal in rugby so if you kick the ball and it goes through the post that means that you get three points added to your team total okay. so um, in football as uh, you usually have a specialist team that come up when they take field goals so in rugby anyone can pretty much take a uh, drop goal if they want to okay. so the dynamics of it is the ball has to drop on the ground before you kick it mm. okay so in in essence what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and align this seam with the inside post right mother nature's making it a little hard for us today because it's got a little bit of a win so i'm going to try and align it with the inside post i'm going to keep my head down and look at how my foot makes contact with the ball okay so don't look up to where you're kicking keep your head down to where your foot makes contact with the ball and then follow through with your foot okay wow all right let's try it <laughs> So now we're going to do one final test to see which one of us has the best accuracy. What we're doing next is uh, if the ball goes into touch, we have to throw it in to compete for it. It's called the line out. Mm -hmm. So the guy that does that is usually your number two or the hooker. Okay. So it's pretty much like a football pass. So as a quarterback would pass it, but you're using both hands. The only so you're time not you're just, allowed to throw it forward. Yeah, this is the only time you're allowed to throw it forward. Time. So uh, you're not just using one hand, you're using both hands. Again, same principle as the passing. The back hand's the driver, the front hand's just there for accuracy. All right. So what we'll be doing today is each one will, uh, one of us will get three attempts. We'll try and throw it through that hoop over there. And uh, whoever gets the most out of three, he's the victor. All right, let's get to work. So I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Gerald and Daquan for coming out and teaching me a new sport in rugby. Just another one of those sports I can add to my resume. 
Hopefully next semester I'll be able to come out and join you guys on the team. Of course. That sounds good, man. All Thanks right. for having us. Of course. This has been Brady Weaver with your new episode of Halftime. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. <laughs>